And we're live. We're just very much live right now. We're gonna finish this gosh darn windmill. But first and foremost, we have some farming to do. Which always takes precedent. Has that block always been there? I'm pretty sure it has. This cliff has mostly stayed unchanged. I've had to make like staircases up to it a few times when I was moving zombie villagers though. And that's annoying, but then I'll forget about the staircases and then there'll be this like ugly blocky staircase. Like the most basic of staircases. And it's a time. I don't plan on ever having a convenient way to get in there. I just like it. I like it very much. Oh! Oh my gosh, I'm a fool, I'm a fool, I'm a fool. Wait. No, that's not what I want. Okay, view. Show me the thing I want. There it is. Now I have chat. Now I have chat. For a sec there, I did not have chat. Hello, Chaos. We are just grabbing some of this stuff in the little tiny farms I make around this area. Over here is like basically hidden. It's a mini cactus farm hidden in here. Because if you hear flowing water, that's because I put uh, like glass panes between each of them. So then when they grow, the glass panes will attach and then they'll Im immediately break off. It's been doing pretty well. I've thrown some of the cactus in the uh, composter though, because who needs cactus? I have literally so much uh, lime green dye already because you can get that from smelting sea pickles. And I have a re I had a very big need for green dye that I never ended up needing that much green dye for. So I had a ton of lime dye. It was a mess. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this is enough. Has a full stat, has a full double chest full of lime green dye when I need maybe like three stacks at most. Over preparing is a struggle in Minecraft because it's far better than under preparing because you always end up having less blocks than you need when you're building something, of course. But... Oh yeah, this is my big brain strat where you just put it on four things so then instead of having to like meticulously get all um, 12 of these, you just have to break four blocks instead. That's my big brain move. I did not intend to do that, but okay. Um, but yeah, I've spent a little bit of time on the server earlier today. I've mostly been uh, clearing out some space and uh, end talk because I started like doing it in like a more, I don't know, a way I felt was more efficient. So then I was like, well, this makes sense to my brain. Let's do this for several hours uninterrupted. This makes sense. This is a reasonable thing to do. But now I am left. I don't need these many, this many seeds here. I don't want, okay. We're not dealing with these wheat seeds, just beetroot seeds. So I don't have to deal with having a bunch of this, but We'll need a stack in here and those will go in there, but this is going in the composter right now because I cannot handle all these different kinds of things, having to juggle all of them. Okay, um... Just killed a bovine, feeling good. There's so much leather all around this place that, like, at this point I got a um, leather worker villager so I could just trade it away because I didn't want any more and we had so, so much. Which, I mean, I guess if we had, like, the armor stand plug-in and people wanted to do, like, the armor stuff. Hi, Toby! Hi, hi, hi. I am, uh... Just farming around a little bit and then I'm gonna finish this build I started uh, on my last stream.
But yeah, I'm just, I have the, the tiny little, like, mostly aesthetically pleasing. Oh my god, oh my god, my life is right over. I think I have a hoe. It's gonna be a big windmill. Um, which from what I've seen, like, oh, oh my gosh. Homophobia is real and it's Australian internet. I have a hoe in here. Okay. But yeah, this is a big uh, cyan and dark oak windmill. And I'm going to do one more layer, which is going to be mostly like an open air, like kind of balcony area. And then at the roof, like at where it starts, like in the middle of the roof, I guess, there's going to be the big windmill blades, which I have an idea and I found a reference for what I want to try and do with the windmill blades. But... It's also gonna have like a garden in front of it and I'm gonna use like lichen and some moss and stuff to kind of add another color to it and also like give a reason for it to be um, like deteriorated. And I had some other ideas, but I think, I don't know, I'll, it'll come back to me when I uh, look in all those chests for what I was using. Oh yeah, I wanted to use like amethyst for the um, parts of the garden as like kind of like flowers maybe i don't know but also um definitely using copper for the roof after using copper for that roof copper roofs are good and i have like an idea i want to do for the roof shape where it's kind of like i guess a bit i don't know it might curve up i don't know also i'm just leaving all these like crops here and i'm probably gonna end up just throwing them in for my villagers um but for now they get to stay But yeah, I just don't do the automatic farms for all these crops because it's just mo much more, like, satisfying to do them this way. And also, like, bothering with villagers and trying to wrangle them into individual farms is way too much. I barely even bother with uh, wrangling my, uh, like, zombie villagers to cure them for good trades, let alone, like putting them in dumb little boxes and making them farm for me. I mean, there's a... Uh, <laughs> there's a... Uh, zombie villager that's just been sitting in a boat for like at least a month or two, maybe three months, because I just refuse to go all the way from the garden to my uh, villager trading thing with trying to transport this guy. Which I've been thinking I could like... Uh, dispense a carved pumpkin on his head so he won't burn and then just lead him whenever but also I'd have to like either tie up or kill my iron golems to make sure they didn't kill him because that's happened several times iron golems just murdering my gosh darn zombie villagers and we can't even like zombify them ourselves oh yeah I could I just have to be careful because it actually- I think it still takes up durability. I don't know if they've changed that. But... Yeah. I don't remember when... When they added, like, zombies wearing armor. I know it's not always been a thing. And maybe 1.8? I can't remember. Because I do remember it being in 1.8 because it was on, uh, the How To Minecraft server. The first iteration of the How To Minecraft server. And Pizza Hut had, like, a thing about co collecting full armored zombies. I think they were baby zombies, maybe just regular zombies. And then naming them Bob if they had, like, fully enchanted, like, armor. That was, that was a time. And he put them in his, like, little arena area. I still, like, vividly remember basically all of um, Pizza Hut's, like, stuff for how his first How to Minecraft series. He had a, he had a bunny... And, um, he had a bunny, but it was, like, right above his, like, house. So then when he was holding, like, I think golden carrots or something, or, no, it was his girlfriend, who, um, Princess Lee, like, has a, like, kind of bunny or bunny girl, like, Sona as her, like, streaming Sona. So then the fact that she was accidentally holding carrots, causing the bunny to jump and die from its little balcony area was, like, so tragic. <laughs> And he also had this horse that could only- that couldn't even jump half a block, I think. Or like, that, that jumped a half block and couldn't jump any higher. And he just like had it in like a special stable and it was called like the, the horse that can only jump half a block. And then you could like flick a lever and reveal it and it's just sitting there pathetically. 
it was a time. I remember there was some horse races on that server because, um, I don't know, it was like one of the first times some of them had, and like, I think Vicstar had like this dumb, uh, like this ugly as sin tower. It was like cobblestone, I think. I don't remember. I did write a fanfiction for the first how-to Minecraft series. I didn't bother watching the um, second one, I think. It had like this dumb premise. A builder Vicstar is not. Also, the fact that in um, in MCC, they just let Vicstar and Pizza Hut, like, team up for, like, a couple times, like, in the beginning, because they just kept riding down each other. That was insane. Like, there was no, like, not as much team balancing or thought put into, like, oh, these are unbalanced and would make it less of a show to watch. It was, like, <laughs> who allowed that? Early MCC, my beloved. It's so scuffed. The thing is, I like watched some of the early MCCs, I just had no clue what was going on. I was just like, oh my god, Green is live streaming? Better watch that and not absorb any of this information. <laughs> it wasn't until I think Technoblade was streaming it that I decided to be like, what's actually happening here? And then I would end up just falling asleep anyway, watching it. So then I'd have weird Minecraft dreams. I had a weird Minecraft dream during a uh, MCC 9 because Dream was stuck in the um, iron doors and in my head I'm like listening to him talk about these iron doors while I'm sleeping. <laughs> it was wild. I had like several like Minecraft related dreams. I think I had a Minecraft related dream about like bingo but fast at one point. I don't remember like while watching it. My Minecraft dreams are a time. I'm pretty sure I had one, like, recently, but I don't remember any of it. I just remember, like, weird. That was a Minecrafty dream, and then just completely forgetting it, because I forget all my dreams unless I, like, tell someone about it, usually. But some of my dreams are buck wild. And then some of them- I like, there have been several times where I've had a dream and been like, this is the perfect novel idea. If I publish this as a novel, I would- it would, like, be a banger. And then I'm like, but wait, I don't remember any of this. And then I just kind of suffer through that for a few days and then forget anyway about the whole entire thing. Which is just like, hmm, I should get better TTV on this because I was just thinking of the, um, the like no emoji with the hands upraised. I can hear my kitty cat. Oh my gosh. She's a kitty cat. She dance, 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 and she dance, dance, dance. Kitty cat! Yes, Pandora? She did a little murr. Oh, who's a sweet darling baby? She like slept in here for several hours. Like, for hours and hours, and then decided, okay, I'm gonna cause problems. And then when I was watching some Hermitcraft, because I'm backed up on, like, six or seven episodes of Hermitcraft from, like, just across several different YouTubers, she decided, I'm gonna sit literally directly on your chest and lick your face while you're sitting upright. All right, do you want to go back out? You, you seriously? You literally, like... She's a problem. She's a tyrant. You've done so much wrong in this world, and yet you did- Okay, bye! I love you too! Ugh. Instead of opening boxes, this Pandora just makes me open doors. And it's gosh darn travesty. I'm gonna- <laughs> I'm gonna build a Pandora's vault in this, but it's just gonna be a huge cat tree because for my cat Pandora. God, I know someone on the um, origin server built a cat tree. The thing is, it was like, I think it's James Marriott or something, but I had no clue who James Marriott is, so I just assumed uh, James was the name of, uh, Jack Manifold's brother, because I forgot Jack Manifold's brother's name. <laughs> I was like, I don't know why Jack Manifold's brother decided to be a cat. 
But okay, go off, King. Good for you. Embracing these things about yourself. Um, the fact that um, Scott was so close to being a cat boy for Origins was dangerous. Because that becomes one step away from cat maid, and I'm... If Scott Smajor decided to do a cat maid bit, no one would have literally survived that. Including me. Let's go to the barn. Because um, we've got the warp... Warps. And that makes it so much easier. What was I doing? Okay. Yeah. And the fact that, like... <laughs> oh my god. It would have- he would have literally, like, destroyed them. But then it also would have been a thing of, like, okay, we have to go to the other BC, there are miners here. <laughs> Instantly. Is that another... Blackstone... Scrunkly! When did Scrunkly come here? When is there Scrunkly? I mean, it's built out of one of the best blocks, but still, it's Scrunkly. Scrunkly Dunkly? Hell yeah, I guess. Who's the scrunkly oo slut, Halloween penis pecanius? These are actually all of the, um, the, like, descriptive words for my, uh, my immortal OC. This is what you introduce them with, just all of these. It, this S is made out of cobblestone, it's the most janky thing ever, and I hate it. Also, ugh, Pekinius. I love Pekinius, but I hate this S. Okay. Uh, I'm taking this down. I can't live with this. S. I should make it a big S like those ones that you do on the- Okay, I did not mean to do this. I just threw a few. For fun and profit. Um. Let's go up. I'm getting very good with a trident, considering I've never really, like, used one before. Yell he. I used to use- okay. You know what? Because this was probably gotten with the, um, thing, I'm just gonna do it for gold. Because I like collecting my gilded blackstone legitimately. Because... I'm very weird about this. I'm like, yeah, I could get my favorite block for free, but why not make it harder on myself? Well, this and Bedrock are some of my favorite blocks. Some of the, um, glazed terracottas are very good, too. The pink one is actually super good. I really liked being able to use it for my, uh, soccer tree. There are some very good blocks in Minecraft that some people literally never see, which is wild because it's like, I can't imagine not uh, being able to recognize every Minecraft block. But that's also because I have brain rot and special interests. <laughs> very much like how the path looks so natural because I sometimes forget that I added all of this and I'm just like, oh yeah, it's the path. And then I'm like, oh yeah, I did that. I did that. And we get gold from it too. Here, let's grab some dirt in a God-honoring way where I don't destroy my terraforming. There are some parts of the river that I still want to terraform because um, there's an area in the um, flower forest where there's like just some floating grass, like the floating grass blocks just kind of in the area. Is this? Okay, this is still soul, soul soil. But yeah, I was, uh, some of the like floating grass block platform areas over here I kind of want to make into proper islands if, or just delete them, but I don't know, either way is fine with me. Okay, now we get gold. We win these. Hey, sir. Sir? Why do you- Why are you all like this? There's- so I see floating ink. There's so much ink over here and it's very good. Because I'm building in mostly blacks and grays on my, um, my own island. But still. I'm- it's just, like, pathetic to have to watch them do this to themselves. It's really peace, love, and plants when you're watching them kill themselves like that, and it's like, okay, man. <laughs> I, I had a joke there, but I wasn't going to- Yeah, I love the roof. And I fixed these, so instead of, like, facing each other, they're facing forward, and then there's these little, like, areas, and they're kind of fenced off. 
And then I made the windows big so you can see out into the main area. And you can see this is the judges or like the whatever's area. And then you've got this. And you got a little prison. Yeah, it's to keep them from getting into fist fights as if they can't just like walk over. <laughs> you have to have some decorum while you're role playing. No jumping in the Minecraft role play. And like this little thing, oh, like getting this doorway to look nice. And then I put a little window above here and above here too. And then a little balcony, which I guess when people have elytra it'll be useful, but also for now it's just like you can trident up here. Or just have a little pa place to do your little like aside roleplay, like, oh my god, this person's in jail. Which, also these side things. It took me so long to get the this like little opening area to look right. Yeah, true. This is Rapunzel, but your, your uh, love interest has to be a fish, so you have to be Wilbur Soot. So basically only Wilbur can do that one. And yeah, some of the areas over here are spawnable and I hate it. And here's a little jail. Me when I can, yeah. Currently he's kidding Elsa, but for a man who probably doesn't fully know what canning is, he does have a lot of kins. And my little picnic garden area, which I love oh so dearly. What was I? I'm looking for a crafting table. Okay, wait, no, I'm just looking for a bed. Yeah, I put a bunch of food there. All the suspicious stew is just leaping, but people can pretend it's like a roulette of just stew. Which, thankfully, in 1.17 and up, you can just eat it whether you're hungry or not. Which was so annoying, because I like just eating them off the bat, because you can just be like, well, found this in a treasure chest, better just eat this. Consume. Let's put this here, and... Let's just throw this in here, and I don't need these. And this, and should probably get some bone meal for that. A meal for people who have bones, which I guess I'm one of them. I don't know if I have bones. I don't want to figure that one out. I've never- I've never broken one, so I don't know. It's like Schrodinger's bone. Do I have bones? Who knows? Maybe the things I'm cracking are actually glow sticks. I'm pretty sure wardens have glow stick bones, so that's probably what I have. Actually, that's super fucking good, glow stick bones. I've got glow stick bones now, that's canonical. Canonical glow stick bones. Okay, what was I even doing up here? So these areas... Oh, the woes of punching to gesture in Minecraft. Yeah, and like... And of course that makes sense with the, um, like, ribcage kind of soul thing. But currently, my core is in my inventory, so... And it's currently blue. But maybe later... I kind of planned on it being a uh, black shulker box with a bunch of glass and different rainbow colors. And then you can slowly uh, take out the um, glass in the shulker box and that kind of shows like the core getting sicker or like losing power. And then my character and, I and how I play it will probably be like using weakness potions and stuff or slowness potions and then slowly like upgrading to being like turtle master level potions of just like, wow, this sucks. But yeah, I'll probably just- because I've been so used to this just being in my inventory literally at all times. Like, I just live with one inventory slot that's useless. Um, okay, what was I planning on doing here? I kind of want- I was gonna- I changed my mind from a uh, deep slate tile to dark oak around the roof. Yeah. I'm a method actor. That's why I live in a cave and don't have an actual house. It's not just me not bothering to make myself a house. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm losing it. Oh my god. Don't mind me. I'm totally not, uh... New. I'm being hate crimed. File. Save as. 
Toby homophobe. Confirmed. In my files. <laughs> this is what happens. I was gonna like, I didn't think it was a typo. I did not think it was a typo. I thought you were just calling me a homo and I was gonna be like, yeah, I've got a rainbow skin. What do you expect? But then you said it was a typo. And so at that point, it's funny. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Don't mind me. Don't mind me. I'm just, uh... I'm just, uh... Where's the... Uh... There it goes. <laughs> but yeah, the view from here is super good. Because you get to see the panda reserve, which from here it looks like I need to have way less bamboo, but from inside it looks good with all the bamboo, so I don't know. And then you get to see the courthouse, and you get to see the juice box TM. But when I put in the blades, I don't know exactly how much it'll obscure the view. So I'm thinking of, like, I wish I had, like, something... I wish I had like wooden walls. That's the kind of width I want to like support the roof instead of fences. Ugh. It sucks. I wish I had like wooden walls to work with, but I do not. I live with deep slate tile walls. And I love deep slate tile walls like an unreasonable amount, but still. MLG. I want wooden walls, please. Please, Mo Yang, Mo Yang, Mo Yang, please. Look at me. You're nothing. You're nothing. That was one of the few times that I actually managed to get the MLG, like, right. Okay, we want wood. I don't exactly need. And then I'm planning on doing copper. I've only got this much copper on me right now, and it's mostly slabs, but I'll probably need mostly stairs. Which, I wish I was in 1.18. We are not in 1.18. I know, because I checked in my mind... I have a little area where I go and check the bedrock whenever I think it might have updated to 1.18. We need more copper. And thankfully I have more copper. Oh Jesus Christ. Load in. All the 15 slot llamas. They're lagging me out. The 15 slot llamas, they know. Thankfully I have copper. Um, let's grab two stacks, just in case. And I'm keeping a bunch of copper to, uh... Only fortune when we get to 1.18 because they up the copper drop for fortune. Yeah, my 15 slot llamas decided to commit crimes against me. I'd say it's a hate crime, but you've already got that covered, Toby. <laughs> oh my god. Nightbot decided- not- Nightbot caught on to your crimes. You can't hide forever from Nightbot. <laughs> Tobyphobia is the, now the new norm. You think we're heterophobic? No, we're just Tobyphobic. Oh my god. They want to do erase literally your entire legacy. If they could, they'd erase your bloodline as well. Okay, let's just bring this up with us. Usually when I'm building, I just bring the stone cutter up with me and then use it whenever I need to. Yeah. You need blood and bones to have a bloodline or a family tree, because family trees are famously made of bones real. I forgot to grab my scaffolding. I love it here. Why did I- okay, yeah, I was gonna use glowstone to, uh, decorate the garden area and, like, put them under moss carpets. Yeah, it's my bone line. New hip bone line. Yeah, they do look kind of snortable, let's be real. Okay, let's see. 
I guess we'll see if fences are a thing that I can do here. Let's use some of this for sticks. Um, and then use some of this for planks. Real. Real. No. No, I've already decided against it. I knew I wouldn't like it, and then I tried it anyway just to see, and I don't like it ever. Do I? I don't strip it now. They're doing a new stripped, uh, they're doing the stripped Dark Oak Log is gonna be different in, a 1.18, because they're making it and the one in, a Bedrock be the same, which is, like, hell yeah. Here, let's just... Please. Chill. Okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm trying to, like... I just want to sit here and eat my carrots and build my silly little build. I should just leave this open for now because I keep- Oh my god, I'm losing my mind. Oh my god, I- <sighs> That was the worst thing to ever happen to me, I say. Oh, that was a sick MLG. Hmm. I just live like this. This goes and hides in my inventory, and so does my bucket and my fences. That's the shame corner. Um, I want to make a rough outline of what I want the roof shape to be, which is going to primarily be stairs. And I want, I want, I want good stairs. I kind of have an idea, and I want it. I should, huh? I'm gonna have to have um stairs meeting at the top um is this the middle is it i don't know i think this is this one block in the middle yeah it definitely is ah oh, jeez. um okay so then we're gonna have a slab in the middle question mark or are we going to have this Ooh, maybe? Question mark? We could have a little, like, this? I don't know. If you hear cracking, that was my fingers and then my neck. I, I have bad, bad bones. They make bad, bad sounds. I need more dirt. Which you may not think is required, but it is because I need to do this properly. Which I'm probably going to end up also waxing the roof um, as well. Because, okay, you go up and just go straight here, here. And you're going up as well. I don't, I don't care what you want. This is happening. This is happening right now clicked out of the window for a second. I'm- I actually always play in a- I've never, like, not played in full window mode, like... Okay, I want- like, I play in full screen all the time. Okay, this goes like that, and then I can have... So, I, um, getting used to having to play in a smaller window is weird. Okay, that's good, and then I want this, and I go up here with this. I was gonna use, um, the tiles again. Hmm, question mark? Maybe I'll do this with the copper, though. I know I want the outlines to be, um... But is this... Wait, is this not an even? One, two, one, two, one, two, one. It's not even, so I can't even do this pattern. I lose my mind, so I'll just have to... whatever. Okay. I'm just getting whatever kind of shape I'm going for, and then I'm probably gonna bring it out a bit, because... I don't want, um... I just don't, uh, want it to be so close. Hmm. What? I was shifting. Hello? Hello? Okay, 
I want this to be like this, and then I can take all of these because I don't want them here. They don't belong. I also don't need this or this. Hmm. Should I bring it out one block or maybe two? I know I want this to go lower as well. Maybe I could also do a kind of awning around it with slabs. Maybe not. I don't know. Life is... Hmm. Let's just put a slab here for now and then... I definitely want to bring this out. Because... Hmm. I should make it taller. I'm gonna make it taller when I get back up there. Because I, this, this top area, I'm gonna have like a bit of... I'm gonna be using like copper as like a kind of anchor point inside this like triangle. And then I'm gonna put the windmill like... So yeah, I'm gonna put it up one block in that part and then... Roofs are difficult. Roofs are literally one of the most- they're like what hands are to like visual artists like drawing hands. That's what roofs are to Minecraft builders. This is true. This is fact. Um, here, let's bring this up like this. And then we can do this. And I don't need these anymore. And we've got this, and then we need this to go down. So then I can do this. And then we've got a friendly little guy right here. Okay. This is not what I wanted. Okay. You go down. Hmm. I wish it was two block middle, so then I could have them both just, like, facing each other. But, I don't know, I got take what I can get considering I'm the one that built it and started doing these shapes so I'm the one who I'm the reason it's like this let's see from down below um nailed it also yeah there's a cat inside here void empress I named her I found her uh she was hidden down in like this mine area that like goes up under this uh, so I named her void empress um let's put some scaffolding over here so we can get some perspective yeah, I'll rebuild it all two block center. Yeah, that's Void Void Empress. She's beloved. She's never done anything wrong. Like, I knew there was a one block center the second I had a one block center, like, at the bottom. But still. Hmm. Well, now it's... Yeah, it's just very hard to tell what I'm doing here, but... Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'll do another, like, full block here and then the, um, stair under that. I just want it to be very steep, but at that point, maybe I'll just use full blocks. I also just want it to have the shape of the stairs, though. Roofs are hard, and I hate them. That's why I built an open-air arena for months. So I wouldn't have to do roofs. And that's why I'm building primarily below ground with blocky kind of building style. No roofs, just flat block shapes. Roofs are like my, okay, we got this far, now what? <laughs> kind of thing. I glitched out some... <laughs> Love glitching out some scaffolding. There we go. Um, here. Okay, let's try... I need more scaffolding. I do not have more scaffolding. My life is pain and suffering. Let's just grab two stacks. And let's put the stick away. I don't know where... Oh, that was for me crafting fences. Duh. This is going to be so... It's gonna look so deranged once I put in all the scaffolding I need to build this roof the way I want it to. Oh, and then I also can't place scaffolding on... Mm can't place scaffolding on stairs, and that's literally... Truly. That is Temi's whole thing. I now understand why Temi was like that. That's just what it is when you want to be a college student.
I meant to be on the scaffolding, but I wasn't. Okay, does this look good? Does it? Does it? Question mark, retweet, quote retreat. Well, okay. I know why I can make this look better. Because I can do this. Because I have the power and the strength and the ability. And now we'll see how it looks. Well, now it just looks kind of jank. Huh. I'll try the full block here instead. I'm very dedicated to this roof now. I have an idea and I'll try and execute it. Okay, I don't want this full block here. I want it here. Okay, we're doing the full block in line with this. So then we do this. And then we go like this up. And then we go like this up and then we'll do a slab there like you said and then a slab here oh no i've got another idea wait 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 we do a slab here we do a stair there and then a slab that's way better isn't it yeah it is hmm it's an interesting shape, and I'll be able to use um, full oxidized copper blocks for variation and texture on the top. Which I'm thinking I want it to be all just oxidized, like no um, no variation. Like in uh, oxidization, mostly because this one's already got variation and oxidization. And I don't know, I wasn't a fan of the way I did it, but also it like, eh. It wasn't my best, but also I was like finishing someone else's build, kind of. And the blue is kind of what I'm going for with this one, the cyan. And of course all this blue is going to bring out the blue in the block so it won't be a green, like, just a green block. And now this part is just janky as hell because this one's perfect. Um, hmm. But do I bring it out another? No. Because there's going to be, um copper background here and then there's going to be like a part going forward up to and then we're going to get the um windmill blades and the windmill blades um some of them are going to be kind of tattered and like we're going to have like vines climbing up here and like glow berries hanging off of stuff which hmm no i can't use any blue wool or anything for it here let's do I just do this on the sides, or do I- No, I want it to be a full all the way around. Kind of like I went all the way around on that. But then at that point, I kind of want this to go out one more. Yeah, I saw you have like a ton of stuff over at your pub and area. I've been there a few times. Me and um, Pybro were hanging around and just like going around areas. Um... I hope this looks good from the side as well. Glowberries are very good. I like to think they taste kind of like apricots, like a little bit, like more like a juicy, like way juicier apricot or maybe a kumquat because I've had, I think I've had kumquats. Maybe they were loquats. I just like fruit a lot. So me and my character love fruit, especially because my character is a vegetarian kind of. But that's mostly just because at first it was like for a reason and then it just became out of habit and plus golden carrots taste the best to them. Plus have the best saturation like as a meta thing. Um, here, I want this. Well, this goes here anyway, so I want this here. Because my character had the, um, he had her son Amleth. Who... And with my beloved, and then oh, and then his unnamed twin sister that we got. Oh my god. Amleth. Amleth, my beloved. Which at this point, I'm just like, yeah, whatever. And then I'll kill piglins and zombified piglins for no reason sometimes. Because I'm like, yeah, it doesn't matter anymore. But that was also the day we had, uh, I think, Fluffy. We met Fluffy and stuff. Yeah, at this point, I just, like, I'm like, oh, wow, this tiny baby piglin is annoying me, and then I'll kill it. <laughs> because they also end up, uh, like, baby piglins will hold items and then just stick around, kind of like zombies, and I hate it. 
Let's put that there, because I don't need that. And then let's just um, make this match, because otherwise I'll lose my mind. Let's go here. No. Is it the, um... Are they the uh, floating piglins on bees? Or are there other sons to be had? Yeah, those boys. We love the boys. Truly. Unproblematic faves are just the multitude of children we have on this server. And then just never talk about. <laughs> Which technically, I kind of, at this point, I kind of consider Pyrus and a uh, clairvoyance, my kids, that are in my cave. But also, let's put that there and that there. Is that even? Okay, yeah, it's perfect. Um, let's put- should I just- let's try full blocks of oxidized copper first. And then we can try some cut op copper after. Um, and let's just put this- oh, wacky. Wacky fun wild. I don't want that. I love copper so much. It's so good. People are like, we should be able to make armor and tools out of it. And it'd be cool to have like, um a tool that like like something else that has to do with lightning and electricity like you might get struck with lightning more if you're wearing copper armor which would be cool and also like as it loses durability it oxidizes more imagine oh my god redstone tools yeah it should like because there are some there's a uh, Vanilla tweaks where you can like see your shovel or something like deteriorating as it loses it, like the texture and the item deteriorates as you continue using it. Oh my god, steampunk redstone. Kind of like uh, B Dubs is pretty stone that he's got. Have you seen it? Like, cause he did it for um, Ethos sugarcane farm and then also did it for. Oh my god, I'm dumb. I went all the way down here for some gosh for my stone cutter and my stone cutter was in. And also I have the slabs. I could just make it with slabs. I'm losing my mind. I don't need this. Okay. You watch as someone progressively loses their mind playing Minecraft. That's just the... Yeah, his redstone is good. And then he made... I haven't finished his newest episode because there's just so many new episodes. Okay. Do we like cut or uncut? Hmm. I like cut more. Even though the uncut's got, like, the bolts on it, actually. Because I'm going to use uncut for this anyway, so I'll just... I'll be using the... Oh, god. Yeah, I haven't seen all of the newest stuff. I watched part of Green's and then was like, Oh, yeah, I should go and finish uh, Scar and B-Dubs' episodes, because I got so absorbed... And Impulses, because I got so absorbed with uh, Docs that I didn't pay attention to the other ones. And then I was like, well... I gotta watch part of this, and then I gotta watch part of this, and so I was like jumping around on Hermitcraft videos, and then I was like, but I'm bored, I don't want to watch this right now, I want to stream. Yeah, this looks much better. And then we've got this, like, as a- oh, that's actually nice. This is nice, actually. I really like this. Hmm. I wonder if I could make this a different block instead of a full block. I wonder. Is that something? Is that anything? Let's see. Oh, that is something, actually. Like, look at that. That looks better. Wait, yeah, we're having them facing out now. We're having them be stairs facing out. One thing I don't like about building, like, buildings is having to make everything symmetrical. That's why I really like organic, because you can just kind of go with the flow. And also, like, build- Oh, I didn't intend to do that! Oh my god, my life is over! Oh my god. Oh, I hate it here. Also, I didn't finish adding, uh, stairs to the bottom of these. Okay, I gotta finish these stairs. I hate it here. I hate these weathered cut copper slabs. I'm putting these on the ground for shame. For shame. I need more of my, uh, ladder scaffolding. I don't even remember what I was talking about. I got so, like, filled with, like, slightly impotent rage about all of that, uh, about accidentally scraping off the oxidization. But yeah, the Hermitcraft videos, I haven't been able to catch up fully. Watching Green, like, his, like, thought process as he begins to spawn a wither is the most insane thing ever. It's just like, who- what are you doing? 
What are you doing this entire- What are you thinking about? What are you even thinking? Hmm. Can I? No. Kind of, actually. No. No, not at all. Um. Let's do- No, not this. This is not what I want. I want to go this way. I'm a master of stereology. Does that do anything? Kind of does, actually. What if we use that as, like, a railing part underneath? Hmm. And I'll also have to do this anyway. Do I have more stairs? Of course I don't. Of course I don't. My life is over. No more stairs. All the stairs. No. All the stairs. Like, watching his thought process of, like, yeah, this is a good idea. And, like, thinking that this, this, the signs of all things are gonna stop the thing spawning. Actually, yeah, this part's bad. But that part's good. Hmm. Wait, actually, is it good? I've got an idea. Okay, we want this to go against the support beam, of course, because it's being supported by this. The entire roof is. This is the fiction we play with. Yeah, that's much better, actually. And him messing with Mumbo, I haven't seen yet, because I haven't seen Mumbo's point of view yet. Um, but it'd be really funny if Mumbo, like, edited it, like, in a way to make it seem like, oh, this is psychological horror, this is what's happening to him right now, he's losing his mind. And then we just hear Grian being like, I'm sorry, Mumbo! And it's, like, suddenly, like, record scratch, oh. It's just my friend being a dumbass. Actually, yeah, I like that more. Kind of? Do I? Do I like it? I mean, it doesn't matter. There's gonna be full copper blocks right here. I think maybe like that? I don't know. It's gotta be... Yeah, I mean, this area is going to be obscure, and then we can put the, um... Yeah, this is what we're doing. Okay. Because we're putting the blades in here anyway, so it's like, what does it matter if it's obscuring your vision right here? Here, let's take these down, actually, and make it a bit more of a view. Yeah, and then I can take this part down, because that's been, uh... Decide against, and... Oh, yeah. Okay, the full slabs are also facing outward, right? I did that, right? Yeah. This is very good so far. Oh my gosh. This is one of the most successful things I've done with the roof. And also, I had a reason to use all of these extra um, slabs I had, too. Which, I hate having to waste materials, so... I'm someone who's like, oh, I can use literally everything, so I save even, like, zombie flesh if it's in my inventory and I'm, like, storing stuff. I'll put it in the, in my storage. Because, like, well, dogs eat it, and also, uh, my clerics will trade with it and stuff like that, and then I just don't ever actually, like, put stuff, like, where it'd be used. Is this? Hi! Hi, hi, hi! Yeah, thank you. I've been working... Yeah, I I do. I do have, uh, like, th I think I have four barrels of spider's eyes, actually. But yeah, currently I'm almost done with this windmill. I kind of like the no windows. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. We'll allow a mer brother, but not a t not a Toby brother. Never. <laughs> That's what my sibling says to me all the time. The best way to ward people off is just by like. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, these need to be full oak. Do I have any full oak on me? Of course I don't. Because my life is a disaster. Um, what am I doing? Okay, I've got that, and I've got this. And I can just put that there, and I don't want these at all. 
at all at all at all. I'm just I'm losing my mind. I'm gonna grab another bucket of water. Why is this this fine? <sighs> yeah, L. And there's an Enderman somewhere? I know there are at least like the day like the fear I have is one day I'll be like killing an Enderman because I'm like, well, it's holding an item, it's gonna um lag out because it's just gonna be another mob in the mob cap or whatever. But then the day I, I fear is when I accidentally hit one of Juice's special Endermen from their council. Now I've got infinite water. We win these. Okay, let's go up. Actually, let's sweep. We're shreeping. And then I'll just attack it and then I'll be like, well, okay. I love angering God. That's actually my favorite activity. That's why I built an entire arena dedicated to a god, because I love angering them so, so much. It's my favorite pastime, actually. Huh. This doesn't- okay. I know why it's not fully fitting, and that's because you can't see that the- Why are you here? Cursed. And then we throw it. Um. Hmm. Hmm. So I know I could use um, lightning rods actually on this. Hmm. Actually, yeah, kind of does. It's got like. Yeah. What? Is it because of all the little like uh, the wool kind of looks like? A bunch of eyes, maybe? But yeah, I'm just using a very cyan and dark colors palette right now. Huh. Do I start working on the blades? Some real fucked up spiders. Okay, we're gonna close this. And then this. And then I should grab my, um, lanterns, actually, because, like, the lantern should go here. Chrysalis from Wizard 101! The best world from Wizard 101! Okay. Okay, go off, I guess. Two best worlds are Croctopia and Chrysalis. You can't change my mind. I love Croctopia way too much. It's just the one where it, like, really hits the nostalgia. Probably because when I was playing when I was a kid... Um, I got stuck there forever, but I actually got stuck on Dragonspire and then never left when I was playing. Um, here, let's grab some glow icon. I, like, low-key hated Avalon. But that's just because I was, like, a dumb child. I'm a dumb child, and I'm just like, well, okay, I just want more glow icon, man. Oh, I didn't- I'm still technically stuck in a chrysalis, actually. Fair. I'm just making all this and I'm gonna share it up later, but I just want a bunch of, uh, lichen. Um... But yeah, I think I'm on literally, like, the last boss fight of Chrysalis. I just haven't, uh, finished it. The thing is, I was stuck in Avalon, and I was like, I hate it here. Why am I stuck in Avalon? And then didn't bother doing the next quest, because I got burnt out on it. And then I, um... Oh, the big treehouse? I think I gave my sibling, uh, the, like, hunter bundle thing for that, with, like, the fox mount and everything. As like a gift, I just gave it to them, and then now they just have that, and they've never touched Wizard 101 in literally like, probably years, technically. I've bought some bundles at one point. I've bought several bundles. I have the, um... Oh yeah, but death is one of the easiest to solo, right? I only play on balance that far. I currently have the, um, Red Barn Farm because I'm the elite. I bought so many... I spent literally, the only thing I spent my money on was bundles. And then I had the Red Barn Farm as well, which 
is very useful because I would I would uh, farm the evil magma peas because I'm some kind of gamer. But then they changed the goddamn pet um, hatching cost to be fucking insane. So then you have to farm in a... That's what I was doing when I stopped playing. I was farming a... I was farming in a... What was it? The area after Grizzleheim that you can only get when you're like past level 45 or something. I don't remember. It was the, maybe past level 60 that you can farm golden. So I decided, okay, I'll finally go and do that quest. But then I just straight up never played after that. So I think my balance is still there. But I'm like level 106 something. Um, but yeah. And then I have some other characters, but I think the farthest I've gotten is like... Oh, Winter Tusk. That's the one I was thinking of. Ugh. Because I'm insane, so I literally do every single side quest in a world before moving on. I refuse to move on, including the uh, Zeke quests, which is hell. And the, like, history quests. So, I legit just, like, live like this. So I've, I've like, 100 percented all the worlds up to Chrysalis, and then Chrysalis I'm still haven't finished the final boss on. But when I was doing Avalon and I decided I was like burnt out on Avalon. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, some of my uh, friends are still playing and are in the new world and everything, but I haven't, uh, like all my friends have max wizards and I'm just sitting here like, well, level 106, baby. And then I never bother asking them for help anyway. And I don't have a membership anymore, though. I did ha keep my membership for a while on Pirate, but then I maxed out my wizard, and then I got in Cool Ranch ag I maxed out my swashbuckler, not my wizard. And then I got in goddamn Cool Ranch again on my buccaneer. And I was like, you're not- this isn't worth having to go through Cool Ranch again. Cool Ranch is something people should never have to go through multiple times. Not only is it very long, it also, like, if you're in certain classes, will be like, here, wear a gosh darn indigenous headdress. Yeah, Cool Ranch in Pirate 101 is the, like, uh, cowboy-themed world. Which, I think there's a special, like, dungeon, like, housing dungeon for Wizard 101 too, because it's, like, a train robbery or something. I remember watching, like, a trailer thing for that, and you've got, like, a snake person. Though there's mostly snake people in, um... What is it? starts with an A, I'm losing my mind. The ancient Greek themed world that they've got in Pirate 101 and Wizard 101, but you can sail through it and do quests in uh, Pirate 101, which is cool. You get to go through like literally like Theseus's maze and everything. Aqu Aquila, yeah. There are snake people there. There are some good snake people there. And there's some real messed up like lore. Where you literally, like, lose five years of your, uh, life in memories. And there's birds, yeah. There's so many birds. I love all the birds. And of course there's a ton of references to, uh, like, you're literally in, like, a Trojan mouse, I think, at one point. Yeah, you lose five years of your memories, and then they acknowledge in the story, like, yeah, you're losing memories, the few memories you have of your dead parents. Or... Or missing, because I picked mine to be lost at sea, but they're defo like dead. Which is a time. It's hilarious that you like get different stat bonuses depending on how your parents died by like having a different companion. Rip. I think mine were lost at sea and then I had some other ones... I can't remember. I know one was like a thunderstorm for my buccaneer because they're secretly a storm wizard as well. And they don't know it. And they were lost in like a storm that they caused because they were a storm wizard and then their like parents weren't acknowledging the fact that they were magical. Yeah, Azteca. Oh my god, 100%ing Azteca is hell. But also Azteca is one of my favorite worlds. I have a um, meme from back when uh, the wildfires were happening in California, and it's literally just the um, screenshot of Azteca starting to die, and then the big text splashed over it with, It's a boy! Because gender reveal parties. And I think they didn't respect how good that meme was. Just in general. 
Azteca was super good. Also the gear, and then of course this, the leopard characters. I lose my mind over leopard characters because leopards and snow leopards are one of my favorite animals. And the, uh, the nice parrot man. He's never done anything wrong ever. Let's actually check the spawning on this, what the light levels are, because there's definitely, it's definitely too low. Yep, five, six, five, six, five, six. Here, we can hang some of these, I guess. Uh, I don't care. Let's work on that when it's done. Oh my god, Veloc. Oh my god. I think that was one of the ones where I'm like, please, someone help me. Take pity on me. Take pity on the poor balanced wizard. I'll blade you however much you want. Because usually when I'm questing, I'm like, no one ask me for blades or I'll kill you right now. And it's just hell. Um, here's that, and I want the full thing of that. Let's get some wool. Okay, I have a thought. I'm gonna keep- I'm gonna make part of my- part of my, uh, windmill blade unspawnable by putting- carpets over it because I'm a gosh darn genius but I don't know do I want to use I think I want to use warped um for the thing I don't think I want to use lightning rods at all actually I wish I could have copper walls give me copper walls yeah I've seen the charts that are like what quests how many quests each world has and like Azteca and Chrysalises are insane compared to the other ones because you can, like, I've had, I know, I, one of my friends will speedrun the game and keep playing. Like, with the help of his other accounts that he's got on Max. And he'll get to, I think he'll beat the first arc at least in a day. And, like, we'll go through, and it's just the main quest line, of course, because, I mean, I can 100% Wizard City in a day as well. Because, of course, I probably still have all of the um, locations for stuff memorized. And it's not like you have to go out of your way to do a lot of the stuff, except for, um, Nightside. But Nightside's good. Nightside's really good. They they should have made a little area that's like a dorm area in Nightside, honestly. And been like, yeah, the, the Death Wizards already knew it was here. They were just hanging out here because you all were so annoying. Which... Yeah. They should have made more, like, floating island areas, like, out past, um, the death school from, like, all the debris, and then there's, like, the dorm room over there, and you're like, yeah, you can't go there. Unless you, like, I don't know, managed to glitch over there. I love all the stupid glitches in Wizard 101. Especially the, like, putting rugs on top of each other in your own house until you're, like, stuck, stuck in the sky and it's really dumb. Ugh. What is it? Oh, yeah, I was thinking of a different bundle earlier, the Battle Mage bundle or whatever, where you've got the, um, big, dumb, like, two-legged dinosaur thing. Oh, gosh, I've never been to Mirage. I literally haven't been past Chrysalis, so I don't really know what exactly happens afterwards. <laughs> Which is funny, because it's just like, yeah, I'll just never know, because I probably won't go back to the game. Unless, like, I have a way to pay for membership and then I have an incentive to play. Um. I'm gonna have to pull up the, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to pull up the reference image. Oh, yeah, the obelisks. Those, those are good, actually. Um. Here, let's get rid of all our scaffolding for now. And then we can restart anew, because I'm going to have to, like, adjust them to be for the- specifically for the, um, mm, scaffolding. Mm. It does kind of look tasty. Not gonna lie. Looks a bit like a Triscuit. Okay. So this- Kill this. Okay, that's floating. Okay, that's just how life is. I think I still have, like, several. I'm just, like, not playing it anymore, though. Mostly because, uh, the people I, uh, some of the people I, like, talked to about it were just, like, completely turned into bitches for no reason.
and decided to be like, yeah, I'm going to block you without telling you. And I'm not even going to uh, talk to you about why I'm blocking you. And I'm just going to believe these r bad rumors about you that like literally accuse you of being like almost criminal. <laughs> Which was stupid as hell because it's like, bro, bro, you're like a full ass adult and play Wizard 101 and you can't act like mature at all. Hello? <laughs> Which, considering my dad played Wizard 101 for a while, I can't really talk about maturity because he's a huge baby man. We hate him. Hate his dumb ass. Um. There's that, and then I gotta bring up the reference image for the blades that I had. Oh wow, I got a notification. I'm playing Minecraft and streaming. What kind of nerd does that? Um, here's the blade I have. Let's just take that out and make it a new window. And then we can delete this. And open up a new window. And then minimize it so it can be very, very small. So I can only see part of it. And then let's put that here. And then I'm trying to make it so that I can like layer my windows properly. Oh no! Nightbot got your ass again. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell Nightbot to stop being a bitch here. Let me open up my um I do keep my tab open for Nightbot. Um Here, I'm disabling excess symbols and excess emotes right now. It does on um, it does still have one for links, I think, here. I'll disable that as well. I'll just turn those on whenever they become a problem. I still have my like nightbot thing up from when I started messing with it to try and figure out what the hell I was doing. It took me like literally a whole day to like figure out and be like, okay. No, this isn't the stuff okay, I wanna bring up the chat window, but I don't wanna bring up the other window. I just want this to be here. Okay, let's move this, and then we're moving this. We're gaming right now. I'm trying to just move windows around. This is top tier content. You don't even understand. Minecraft Windmill Blade PNG. Plus. Well, now chat is fully hidden, so I'll just bring you up on my phone. Which is usually just a Hades exclusive experience when I'm playing Hades, but... There, now I've got the chat open. Hello, you're on my phone now. Now you're blowing up my phone. Like some kind of gosh darn. Uh, I don't know. Okay, I've got a picture and I think I want, yeah, I want to use copper for the supporting thing. Which might end up being full copper or cut copper. Huh. We'll do full copper first and then cut copper if it's not, if it doesn't look good. Or I'll just move over to the, um, planks. Um, and then we've got a bunch of white wool, and then I need far more fences, actually. So let's use our useless birch. Because this is a birch... This is a birch-hating build. I use my phone all the time in high school. Literally, like, if you can get away with it, it does not matter. But then again, I also barely graduated high school. I'm not a good role model at all. But still. This this build in particular hates Birch. In this house, we hate Birch for this build in particular. Oh yeah, I just remembered a thing I was gonna do. Did I fix those? Did I put those on? Or did I just think about doing it and then not do it? Yeah, I did put the full wood blocks. Okay. I was like... <laughs> I love thinking about doing things and then just thinking, oh. Oh, Jesus, that's stupid. What kind of school does that? That's really dumb. My school had, like, a thing where it's, like, depending on the teacher, and then the teacher is able to just make rules in their own classroom. But then my school also had this really, really stupid thing of, like, you have to sign out and tell them what times uh, exactly you're leaving and coming back when you're going to the bathroom. 
because apparently they're entitled to that information now. And, like, someone was like, none of your business or something, like, they swore on the thing, like, none of your effing business, and then got in trouble for it. Which I thought was just funny. And, like, of course, even the teachers who were, like, super, like, oh, yeah, like, fight the system or whatever, I'm one of the te cool teens, I'm one of the cool teachers or whatever, and then they still make you do this. And it's like, okay, bro, okay, we get it. Okay, let's try a f I don't know about the whole block. Well, I gotta bring it out, too, for the blade, I guess. And then, well, I gotta have a f Hmm. For this, it just has a, uh... Maybe a sea lantern would be good for that. I don't know. Here, let's just do this to mark it out right now. And then... Okay. I'm, like, fully looking at a reference image right now, so... This is not coming out of my own brain. That apparently is. Don't look at me. Don't look at my shame. You're staring right at me. Oh, graffiti? That's so dumb. In my school, they closed down a whole bathroom for because people were vaping. And then it was one of the closest bathrooms to one of my classrooms. So then whenever I had to go to the bathroom in that class, I had to literally, like, limp halfway across campus to go to the bathroom then. Which was stupid as hell, because, like, no one actually was, like, vaping. Like, no one gives a shit if you're vaping or not. It was really funny because the principal, um, was, like, super harsh on cannabis. And, like, if you were smoking in school, if you were smoking weed, specifically. And it was, like... People, uh, at one point, people had to, like, submit a thing of, like, trying- literally trying to get people to be snitches and, like, snitch on people. And then when asked, like, who they think would do drugs, literally everyone put the principal's son's name on there. So then the principal decided it was a very biased form of judgment, certain suddenly. Which was super funny, because it was like, yeah, bro, you are not slick. <laughs> That's just funny and also a waste of marijuana. Unless it was really bad marijuana. Which, I'm not one to know literally anything about that, except for... Uh, the fact that... I don't know. I just literally, like, don't know it from experience. I just know because many people... By many people, I mean just my sibling. Smoke marijuana a lot. Which is literally just like... Okay, sir, what do you have to sell me? No? T talk to me. Rooted dirt. Puffer fish. Oh my god, the devious lick trend. I'm gonna be real, if I were in high school for that, I probably would have done it. It would have been funny as hell, and I would have done it. Because at that point, like in senior year, I literally just did not care about anything. Though it was surprisingly junior year. When I uh, actually did, like, break rules a bit more. But that was just because a teacher was being a total dick bag and luckily he got fired the year after that so the devious like trend where you're like stealing shit i guess which i mean stealing shit when you know it's like the teacher is supplying it and spending money out of their own pocket not as cool but stealing shit just in general kind of cool especially if you're shoplifting uh, but not from, like, family businesses. I don't condone shoplifting from family businesses. Yeah, technically. I think you kicked the student, actually. Which is arguably kind of worse, because he was just like, yeah, this is a fine thing to do to someone in my... Um... In... Uh, that I'm supposed to be taken care of. This is just okay, actually. Let's do the bottom of this first. This goes down two, this goes down one, and then this one has two wool. Like, I'm literally just copying this block for block, don't- for, I'm not being, like, a genius right now. But yeah, it was this, like, shitty teacher who also was the teacher who yelled at me and basically kind of just told me that I, like, wasn't disabled anymore because I had had a back surgery. And I was just like, dude, that's not how it works. And also the surgery did not work. But essentially, instead of saying that, I swore at him and was like, you're not my fucking doctor. 
Yeah, it was bad. Teachers can be like super, super shitty. And then people are always like, oh yeah, teachers are always there to help you. And it's like, dude, I would not go to this person for help. There were some other teachers where I literally was like, yeah, I'm having a serious problem and I need you to help me or whatever. Or they noticed I had a serious problem. But 10 year heart, heart emoji. Yeah. Some of the kind of shittier teachers, like there was this teacher, there are some teachers who are universally liked, who legitimately just like, full on were just not great teachers, honestly. And everyone's like, oh, we love this guy. Let's make memes about him and stuff. Let's make a t-shirt with his face on it as a prank. And it's like, dude, I legitimately hate this man. <laughs> like, I would not hesitate. Okay, this is... One, two, three, and then this goes up, actually. I love it here. Love doing this. Like, some teachers just, like, it's really dumb because it's, like, literally a career where they know they're gonna spend their entire life around children or developing adults who don't fully have, like, all, like, if they're 18 or something, they don't fully have, like, all of their brain yet. Like, it's not all grown yet. They're, like, not gonna be, like, reasonable in any sense because that part of their brain is literally developing their reasoning and then they're still going to be like you got to be in control and you got to be a mini adult and you got to listen to everything i say because i'm apparently the one in control and i'm not going to tell you why or give you any reasons why and it's like okay man okay man we get it we get it someone didn't love you enough at some point like we understand but yeah, some of the worst teachers I had were actually substitute teachers. Like this one during this, uh, like, uh, like, intruder drill or whatever, and he was just this complete jackass the entire time. And was like, oh yeah, if someone comes in with a gun, you run at him with scissors, and was like, while other students were having a full panic attack. And it's like, okay man, you don't know what you're doing. Like if some, like some, like substitute teachers, like some of them can be funny, and some of them can be like good. Like there's one that had a uh, that has a like rapping career that is well known throughout like the school district. But some teachers are like, hello, hello, who gave you a job? Who decided that you were suitable to be around children? Okay, that, and then I need one, two, three, and then let's see the very end of this. I need to see the very tail of this. Um, we need to go down a full block. Okay. Oh, that's- that's bullshit. Uh, there was an environmental science class I never got to take. I was so upset about that. I also never got to take the, um, viticulture class we had in school. But I did manage to take a viticulture class, um, in college. Oh my god, me and my friend framed one of our other- framed her cousin for meowing in class. It was when there was a substitute teacher. We framed someone for meowing in class. It was really funny. I'm like not friends with that person anymore or their cousin, but it was really funny. We like framed him for so much shit. <laughs> but that's because it was basically like, they basically had like a brother sister relationship, which was really cool since they like hadn't like lived close together for a long time and then suddenly did. And then suddenly like had this really great like friendship and relationship as like cousins and it was really cool because I think they lived together as well I don't remember but yeah I kind of tagged along with their like th he, this guy he introduced me to the, uh his cousin and was like I think you guys would be great friends and then we both just look at each other and are like no no I don't think so pr pr mostly just to be like assholes and like collectively we both like did that at the same time and then uh, next year she comes to our school and we become best friends for a few years. And then I came out to her and she had like an awkward reaction. So I was like, eh, eh. So that's one blade. It doesn't look the best, but that's because I think it's the most awkwardly framed one. And then of course, I think she came out as bi, I think like a few years after that, after I came out to her as bi, which I don't know. I was just there like, cool guys, cool. Love it here. Blade one of four. Well, technically one of eight. I was like, 
Man. Man horse emoji. People who, like, you're friends with and, like, you have this internal conflict about go coming out to and then either never come out to or do come out to and then they end up coming out later is just like, okay, man, I get it. I made it cool. I was the hipster here. I understand. Okay, this one's gonna be pointing downwards way more. Um, let's move this picture to the side a bit and not make it full screen. And then... Ugh, the thing I hate is I don't... Oh my god, wait, I have a final tomorrow. I just remembered. Thankfully I streamed early, otherwise I'd be streaming for hours into the night and not notice. Um, here's this. And then this. I've got a final at literally like uh, 10 a.m. tomorrow. I hate it here. Okay, this is wool. Let's just do these top ones actually. I think it might be easier. This one's this block, so this goes like this. And then these go like this. The orchestra version of this slaps so fucking hard. Yeah, I've got my final for math tomorrow too. It's hell. Hell world. They forced me to do math. It's literally like basic algebra, but because on my record I'm dumb as hell, it's like, yeah, you remember all of this and could do all of this literally like you could do the final if they just handed it to you at the start of the class, but yeah. But thankfully next semester I'm going to be taking creative writing and I cannot wait. I'm probably gonna end up writing just a shit ton of fanfiction for that class and not ever get uh, caught on it because I'll just like find and replace all the names into being like white people names or whatever so people just don't suspect. <laughs> or I'll get a chance to like go and brush up on like looking at names because I haven't looked at names for characters in a while. But it's a good practice to, like, look up names. Oh, that's hell. I ended up being held back, um, like, kind of, like, low-key, because I ended up retaking, like, five different classes in my senior year of high school. Nothing like age sharing on the internet to anyone. Like, you know I'm not a creep, but he does not. Um, okay, this is good, and then I need to... This goes up one. Hmm. Well, this definitely has a fence, and then this goes up one. And then it has its own little special fence, and then this goes like this, because this is... Does this? One, two... One, um, no, this does go like this, and then I can put the copper blocks like this, and then I can literally just go like this. But yeah, especially if you're not uh, a, a full adult, don't share your age on the internet because that's a quick and easy way for creeps to know exactly how old you are, especially if you're sharing information about your school. They might know exactly what school you go to at some point if they try hard enough. Because literally, like... Yeah, like literally, um, some people like share their school mascots and it's like they're middle schoolers, so then they share their school mascots and instantly people know what school they go to. Cause like, I think my like middle school mascot was kind of unique for my area. So then people know instantly if I had like shared it and then like they had all this other information about me. But yeah, like there was like a trend for people to share it on I think either Instagram or Twitter. And it was like, dude, dude, you're endangering yourself so hard right now. I'm losing my mind. I think, um, what was it? I think Jordan mentioned like that, uh, someone found their school from their school mascot. At one point, I don't remember. This goes like this, and then this goes here. Yeah, fear TM. 
The thing is, I've seen um, our rival school from my high school, like the rival school for us, was literally on like, I think a like Comedy Central show at one point. And also it was where they filmed a Netflix show, I think. So like, it's on the map. And then if you just like, if I mentioned that that was my um, rival school and mentioned it by name, people would be able to look it up very easily. Because it was like, actually like where some stuff was filmed. It was wild. Um, but frankly, I literally don't talk to anyone from my high school except for someone who's technically my cousin, technically not. But they're cool, so. Okay, I don't need this. I don't need this in my life. And then everyone else, I just see them from time to time, either on Snapchat or on uh, Instagram, because those are the two ones that are kind of geared towards, like, people from high school. Otherwise, I don't literally- I literally, like, I think I deleted Instagram. Oh yeah, good night. It's probably later for you, because most people are in a later time zone than me. Oh, I don't know why I bothered coming up when it's nighttime. I bed clutched! That's the bed clutch. We win these. While I'm relishing in that, I'm gonna check and see if my cat came by. Pandora! Nope. No kitty cat. We lose these, actually. We lose these so, so terribly. Oh, I see a bug in my room. I hate it here. Wait, wait, wait. I got it already. I'm a winner. I am not beset by mosquitoes anymore. Oh yeah, we are the same time zone. I totally forgot. I just kind of straight up assume most people are out of my time zone. Oh yeah. My cats do that all the time. And sometimes I'll- Because I spend a lot of time down here now. Because like... It's the only place I can like actually set up my microphone and stream. Because otherwise like my bedroom is right next to a bathroom. And I don't want people to have to hear like the- a toilet flushing in the background that'd be really gross and really dumb but uh yeah sometimes i'll just end up going upstairs and i'll just be like oh so you've been sitting in my bed for literally hours oh my god another one and i caught oh my god i hate it here i hate mosquitoes so much i don't know why a shit ton of mosquitoes have started popping up it's literally literally like not summer hello Is this actually looking good, though? I think it's gonna look good. I'm just going to have to painstakingly add some more details. Let's just go up here. It's fucking winter, and then these mosquitoes are coming out of the woodworks and being like, hello, hello, hello. And that's just fan behavior, TBH. I was about to like be like, oh, let's scaffold clutch, but I don't know how to scaffold clutch, so we're just... Did it. First try, perfect. Oh my god, wait, no, oh my god, oh my god, wait, no, oh my god. No! Oh my god, this is a fucking tragedy. I hate it here, I hate it here. I can have nothing good in this world. Oh my god. I hate it here. This is forced agriculture at this point. Listen, I may be taking an- a oh my god. The um, abbreviation for my agriculture class next semester is sus ag. We love it here. I'm gonna be a sussy little imposter and learn about sustainable agriculture and agricultural ecology. Which, like... <laughs> Considering I took a sustainable agriculture class for literally four years because it was the only agriculture class we really had, besides uh, floral design, which I never got to do before they canceled the class, hate it here. When literally, literally all they did in that class was fuck around, so like I get why it was canceled, but still, I wanted to fuck around and find out. Maybe I'll take a floral design class in a uh, in college now. That'd be interesting, but that's more of an in-person thing, of course. So. And there's some, like, agriculture stuff that I'd love to do, but that's all, uh, in-person kind of oriented, especially because they've got, like, a literal farm. Like, that's what some colleges have. Like, they've got really good, like, facilities. But, I don't know. I might end up going to 
other places for a... Uh, but that depends if I go writing or agriculture or both. I was talking to my, um, my aunt, my aunt, who actually became a life coach. She used to be a DJ. She's a life coach now. And I'm like, okay, go off. And I didn't know she was a life coach. And she was giving me all this advice when we were talking. And I was like, okay, this is nice. This is good advice, I guess. And then later, like, she's emailing, um... Like, a lot of our family in, like, this whole f thread and is like, yeah, I'm a life coach. If you know anyone who needs, like, my assistance, then just hit me up and send them my way. And I was just like, oh my god, did she just life coach me? Did she coach me on my life without telling me? Without my consent? I can't believe it. We sat and drank hot chocolate and had pastries and I was being coached. It's illegal coaching. That's me when I pick up an animal from the wild and then decide to uh, teach it tricks. Illegal coaching instead of poaching. Are we amalgam in this place? I toss all the seeds, but literally right now I my inventory is full of bullshit, so they can just go choke. Um... Which I toss the seeds in a composter, composter, composter. God, I have been so annoyed. We could have had a like a compost bin or like a compost like area for so long at my house, and like we literally have a garden, and then they just full on do not have um compost area, and they like talk about like oh this is a good idea that you bring it up, and then just don't do it. Oh god. That'd be actually cool if someone incorporated, like, uh, two people, like, two characters, like, fusing, and then one of us- and then, like, shared their Minecraft account. I can't become British. I can't colonize. And also, I don't know how to make tea. Those are, like, the two things. My teeth are bad, though. But yeah, that'd be cool. There was this YouTuber who I, like, legit was just convinced that they were both just sitting at the same keyboard, like, like, one person on mouth and one person on, like, hand. I don't know why I assumed that. Like, I just assumed it was two people. And it was one person. I was being dumb. Because I'm a child. I assumed a lot of things of people. There was someone else who I assumed was, like, super, super old and then wasn't. I can't remember. I can't remember at all, but I assumed someone was, like, super old and wasn't. And I did do that for Jack Manifold. I assumed he was, like, old as fuck. I assumed he was older than Vilza because he looks like an aged old man. He, like, looks like either a poor, sickly Victorian orphan or an old man dying of the Black Plague. Like, both in, like, a semi- like, that combined with, like, normal white dude encapsulates his experience- the Jack Manifold experience. Um, hmm, let's do the second plate up here. Um, bam, ba da 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 da. Okay, we need fences, 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 fences. Yeah, this is taking far more materials than I assumed it would, which is good because I did bring more materials than I thought I'd need. Here, let's just toss this and bring this back. Which, does the uncut copper look good? I think it does. It brings, like, a simplicity to it. Because it's also, like, a lot of angles, so then if it was... <laughs> He's truly the best- Jack Manifold is truly the best person to play a character that crawls out of hell. He's gonna live to, like, a hundred. I swear. I don't know why, he just gives the vibes that he's gonna, like, live far- he's gonna outlive me. Which, I hate. He's younger than me, I hate him for that. He's not allowed to look that old and then look younger than me and then be younger than me and I hate him for that. And then his sibling also looks old as hell. I'm an old old man. I'm decrepit. I don't know why- who let me up here. I'm gonna break my neck on these gosh darn parkour. Um, okay, so where am I in the thing? Okay, this goes here. And then I'm right here. Here, so this is wool. I'm truly so close to death at every point in my life. For numerous reasons, but also because I'm old. 
What? Why? 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 Why would it go there and not literally on top of the fence? I hate it here. I hate it here. I also do have shears and I have not been using them. I have efficiency five shears. I hate it here. I hate it. I love, I love, uh, here. And I have this to go up. Oh my god. I'm literally incompetent. Every moment I'm not playing Minecraft the most efficient way, I lose, uh, life. I lose years. Here, we're just gonna fill this in TBH. Okay? Okay? And then that goes here. And this goes here. My streamer. My streamer is in a retirement home. My streamer is a pensioner. My streamer already has tenure. My streamer. What the fuck? Yep, that's me attempting to be family friendly and then losing my mind at uh, 11. Uh, I'm like, I don't, I don't go to 10, I go to 11. I just lose my mind. I like go immediately from chill to instantly losing it because I've just built different. Um, this goes here and that goes up two already. So this goes up that and then this goes up one, two. Listen, listen, we don't need to, we don't need to, I'm hermits, hire me. I'll be, summon me, like you summoned, uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'm just a little guy. Um, Hermits, hi! Giggles shyly. Uh, haha. Uh, push his hair behind ear, haha. Okay, how am I gonna get up there? Uh, scaffolding, duh. Yeah, I'll be summoned like impulse. Bed clutch. I totally got it. One point eighteen cannot come soon enough on the server. I'm gonna lose my mind when we do. I'm gonna do so much lore. I'm gonna live literally under the ground and try and recreate one of those deep dark dungeon things from just what we saw in the Minecraft uh, Earth thing, and I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try and recreate a uh, like deep dark dungeon from what just from what we've seen, and then I'll probably like continue it, and then maybe like. I could make it like a literal like semi like D&D type campaign where I just like bring the people in, like bring other people in and be like, yeah, this is how, uh, we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> um, whether I will or will not fully murder people is like not part of the question here. We don't need to talk about it. And then this goes one, two, three, and then this goes up to um here. We need to put in all this copper first. I'm gonna lose my mind. I hate it here. There are several things I've already constructed that like if we did like a full like role play like either I'm touring people around this area I fixed up or something else it would be insane because of the uh if someone stumbled across the catacombs in the uh arena or something I'd just be like I didn't make this and it's fully like It's fully like restored and perfect, except for the part that uh, chaos blew up. Totally intentionally and maliciously, of course, because they hate me. <laughs> That's a joke. Yeah, and a li like a little arena tour, and oh my god, it'd be so cool. But like specifically, I'd probably have to include some people that like, uh, that are like very invested. Uh, and, like, juice and all that, too. Wattpad is dark in and, of, in and of itself. It's like a dark, dark place. I hate that it turned from a fanfiction website to, uh... Like, what it is now. I remember the good old days of Wattpad. 
But Dark Hermit Craft, definitely. Which, I don't know exactly what that means, but yes. 100% yes. I still have to catch up on uh, Hermit Craft. Okay, we went up to, so then this one is literally just this, and then we can go up. Ooh. Yeah, I fully... That sounds really cool. Um, I still need to read some Hermitcraft fanfiction. I haven't fully... Oh, that sounds sick, actually. Oh my god, wait. They're all fucked up and evil. We love it here. I love when hermits are so, like, buck wild that they have, like, char they have in character evil Exuma being like, what the fuck? Dude, I did not add I did not sign up. I hate it here. Hate it here. Okay. This goes here. And then I can... One, two, three. And that's all the copper and wood I need. But I need to fix all this. So I've got this. That's the second one, and then this goes up one, two, and then this goes up one, two. And that's three of the... Yeah! Feel free. Like, literally send me Hermitcraft links anytime. I probably will save them and then finally read them, like, months later, but I'll still, like, lose my mind over them and then at you about it. Oh, this looks good, actually. Wait. 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 I'm doing something here? Oh, shit. She kind of popped off. Hmm, I wonder how stairs would look, but if I use stairs, I'd probably want to use cut copper blocks, too. She kind of went off with it, though. I'll also have to use, uh, I'm gonna use some carpets on the, uh... Which, I don't know, I talked about making this all ruined, kind of, like, vaguely ruined, or at least, like, kind of overgrown, but I don't know, I can't, like, bear to ruin her. Look at her. She's so pretty. I'll probably also, um, pop out that, uh, woodblock one. This looks good so far. Yeah, this is fully, like, not my, uh, like, windmill blade design, but still... It's a pretty good one. A lot of them were like way too square for my liking. I like a little dimension, a little pizzazz. Here, let's grab another one of these and just, huh. Hmm, maybe, yeah. I could grab, I don't think I have any on oxidized copper, so I could just put one here and try and Maybe I'll cut it up. Maybe it will look better cut. Let's try some, uh, let's cut that with the stone cutter. <laughs> um, I could be really bougie here and put a diamond block. I could put a diamond block here. Yeah, let's see how a diamond blocks looks. Yeah, true. So if we want contrast, I could put a netherite block. <laughs> let's grab, uh, here, let's go. I'm gonna point and laugh. I'm gonna point and laugh, I'm gonna do it. Let's see how it looks. First, let's try, let's, first let's try the diamond block though. I've only got so many diamond blocks, so... <laughs> oh yeah, let's try gold too. Which I have plenty of, so... Um, let's go... The closest warp we have is... This. Oh shit. T.O.P. T.O.P. Tower of Pimps. If they made the Tower of Pimps in modern day, they would have used a uh, netherite block for the base and it would have been hell. I still have to catch up on uh, all their Minecraft content. I'm still on, like, I think You're Dead, We're Dead currently. A few episodes into that. Sir? Oh my god. Hello? <laughs> yeah, little guy? Little guy, little guy, little guy, little guy. 
You're just a little guy. Oh, you're just a little guy. He's shimmying. He's shimmying with me. Oh. We have an emotional connection now. Do you think he's stuck there? Could I just name him and leave him? I don't know. I might name him and then let him roam free. He's not Amla 2. No one's Amla 2. I can't live with that. Yeah, let's name and leave him. Um, let's go back to... Because I'm a generous person, so I leave stacks and stacks of name tags, even though Mer has, that, has like hundreds of name tags. Oh, I can't name him Frank. I want to name him something cool. Oh no, now I know his name. His name is Wendy. No, wait, wait, wait. Hmm. Oh, I see that goddamn bug. I'm losing my mind. I hate bugs. I hate them. I love bugs, actually, but I hate these bugs that specifically attack and target me. It's a targeted attack. Um. Hmm. His name is Susan, and we love him for that. I actually do have an OC who's just like a dude and his name, he, his given name is Susanna. And it's not even, he's not even like trans, he just has like trans vibes. His name is Susan. Like I just have a character and it's like, yeah, his, he, he was born a boy and his name is Susanna. He also does have like some trans vibes, but that's just like, come on, I gotta, I gotta name him without, there we go. Yeah, it's T-Boy Swag, for sure. He's also like a Fox Boy, so that's definitely T-Boy Swag. Fox Boys are now like, uh, trans icons. And that's the funny difference. <laughs> hi sir, hi sir, hi sir, hi sir. Hi Susan, hi Susan, hi sir, hi sir, hi sir. We shimmyin, we shimmyin and shimmyin? Oh, here. I'm sure, truly. Here we go. You can have another. And then there's the new Fox Boy in a Genshin Impact too. But like most characters, most of the boy characters in Genshin, I'm just like, wow, you have trans vibes, but that's mostly just me projecting. Oh, I could give him a gold block. What if I get- what if I left a netherite block there to just, uh, despawn? How much would you hate it? I think I'm not- I'm not the richest person when it comes to netherite, though. Uh, that would belong to, uh... Here. Hmm. The gold does go well with the dark oak as well. I'm just- I think it brings out too much of the green, honestly. The gold brings out too much green, I think. I, I like I get the contrast, but also I'm like trying to keep the same. And that's too gaudy and makes the other things look greener because it's more blue. Ooh, shroom light maybe, yeah. But also imagine. See, that's good. I actually like that a lot. <laughs> I hate it. I like it. I like it so much. I might leave it. I hate that it looks so good too. Like with the structure around it in that and then plus the like... Huh. I'm gonna have to go netherite mining next time, huh? Because that's literally nine netherite ingots, which is 36 netherite scrap. And then times that by two, we've got 72 netherite scrap just in these two blocks. <laughs> I might have to leave a sign at the base of the windmill of like, these were gotten legitimately, do not steal these or I will be like legit mad. TM. 
Oh, I hate how good that looks. Oh no. I might just leave it. I feel monstrous for leaving it. Yeah, which thankfully no one no one on the server will do that, but still, like I gotta have to be like, yeah, please don't. Even though, like, not even for lore or anything, because I'll be like, I'll be so worried about it constantly. I had 24 gold ingots here, I could have just made the gold. Wow. Let's just leave this to oxidize. There you go, sir. Oh, this looks so good so far, but now I have to do the... Oh, yeah. Uh, talk to you later. Um, this goes here, and this goes here, and this goes here. I'll have to put the carpets on all of this, too. <sighs> the idea of putting stairs is so tempting, but I know it'll just be so much work to, like, make the rest of it probably cut copper as well so that it all fits in. But then again, from above, the cut copper will blend in too much with the roof, honestly. So I don't know what to do. But yeah, bye, Toby. Um... Hmm. Well, now this one's gonna be a bit of a rough one because I have to work from the top down. Let's go up. I've been reading this Hunger Games fanfic and like there's this like certain brand of Hunger Games fanfiction where they'll have multiple good characters that you're gonna like sympathize and attack attach to because it's not like one person's point of view. It's multiple point of views that you have like Oh, from one chapter you're seeing the reaping from this person's point of view and their whole backstory and their whole sad backstory. And then all these other people from their backstories. And then you see all the reasons why they like get why they get reaped or why they volunteer or why they just by chance happen to get reaped but want to win. And like all of this stuff. And it's actually like really well done with this one. And then the unaliving begins and slowly the point of views like dwindle. And it's like and then you like the thing is, the thing this author is doing is they're not even making it, like, their point of view. Like, you get to f see them die in their point of view. You see it from everyone else's point of view. So, like, their narration already has stopped before they're even dead. And you're, like, you, like, may think that, like, oh, this is cut off because they die. But no, it's just, like, ugh. Yeah, and already, like, some of these people, like, literally know the careers in this one, uh... Like, literally only one of them is, like, the full conventional career. The other ones have their doubts, or literally aren't careers, or literally are, like... Like, one of them's just kind of unhinged. And one of them's, like, an ice skater who had an injury and then uh, decided to go into career training because the socialites in one were, like, gonna tear her apart otherwise. And it's just really interesting. And then there's also this, like, kind of rebellion backstory because it's, like, set early on. Like, I think it's the 23rd, so it's, like, not fully developing all of the mechanics that they're using in the modern Hunger Games. And it's really interesting. And, like, the arena itself is a uh, courthouse, which might be a small arena, but it's also got, like, these interesting components of an indoor arena, especially having people being like, I miss the sky, which I hadn't considered, and I'll have to consider for my own Hunger Games stuff. Of, like, people with indoor arenas or, like, underground arenas, like, fully missing the sky. And probably not wanting to be indoors, like, for extended period of, periods of time. And then being forced to be indoors for extended periods of time as a victor. But then, I guess if they have to plan parties as a victor, they get to pick outside venues. Or, like, their escorts will, like, be gracious enough to pick outside venues if they're good. Who knows? True. Like, wanting to see this guy and, like, know that you're, like, somewhere on Earth. Like, you're not in this, like, just box in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of, like... Ugh. It's just, like, a whole thing. And, like, wanting to see the stars, and there's probably some arenas where they, like, fully just don't add stars. Or, like, make it fully day the entire time and make people go a bit cuckoo about that. Which, maybe I'll... I think that might be for, uh, one of the ones I have in mind. Yeah. Or, like, of course, everything being, like, art they know everything's artificial. Like, they know that going in. 
but like it being obviously artificial like fake plants like like plastic plants instead of just like kind of images and like constructed from uh technology okay this is here that goes there and this goes one two true true that reminds me i still need to read uh the rest of uh what human error error has been updating with the uh space work tommy one that one's pretty good but it's just like it updated and it was like one of the tags was brief and i was like i'm not i'm not prepared for this right now okay this looks like a huge dong let's just take those away hermitcraft <laughs> remember i'm i've got a <laughs> Hermitcraft, look at me. <laughs> and then I just call something a huge dong. Love it here. Okay, okay. But yeah, I was like, I'm not prepared for this going in because of course, like sometimes I'm like just way more here for action. True. That's fair. I gotta see how long we're in the, um... Well, well, after Undertale, I've got uh, the Stardew Valley playlist, so. True screams. Um. Okay, um. Let's do the copper first. Doing the copper first is way easy. Um, so that goes one, and then this goes down one. Remember me when you get big. Remember us. Yeah. I really doubt it, considering that people like Pearl and Gem had established, um, building channels for literally years, and other people have as well, and it's not, like, just kind of on a whim anymore. Oh, the fallen members of all fuck. Except I'll be like, yeah, I remember them. Ah, uh, and then just bleep it. <laughs> I'll be like, yeah, it's the redacted. We can't even talk about it. Okay, that's one, but then we need a second. Okay, so this actually is one here, and then one here. And then this goes like this, because it's wool. And then this goes one, two, and this goes one, two. And then this goes... Yeah, I'll just be a literally, like, it'll be, like, an SCP reading, but then they don't, like, say, like, redacted. They just put these annoying bleeps in instead. Two, three. And then we do fill in the wool. Us when hush, yeah. Truly. Oh my god. Now you got me thinking about hush. I lose my mind over that gosh darn thing. That's, like, the ideal. That's, like, what I'd want to do if I tried to do a uh, superhero thing. But my only superhero stuff I have planned currently is an apocalypse thing and then a um, Sky High AU. So, like, I can't really... Both of those have vastly different vibes. <laughs> okay, so this goes down one. And then you see it goes... Okay, so that goes down one. And then this is down one as well. And then this is down two. I have the shears. Why don't I use the shears? I have them. I have them. True. If anyone would uh, do that to me, it would be uh, Dream SMP, which, like, first thing I would- I would literally, like, join. I'd probably be the person who, like, joins at a super, like, inconvenient time. Yeah, they'd just be ravenous. They'd literally lose their minds, and then I'd- I would be like, literally, I would be like, the worst person. I'd just be like, yeah, I know what's coming up. I know what's happening. Smile, 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 and then never- Okay, so this goes- okay, wait. No, this goes, uh, a wrong amount. Okay, so that goes- this goes like this, and then this goes like- Technically, I already am a CC. A CC. Uh. 
you'd have to like be like, no, now you're banned from the uh, AU's and headcans channel. You can't hear us making headcans of your own character. <laughs> Ban me from every single fanworks channel as well, unless it's like at me for blog this, retweet this. <laughs> Give us clout. <laughs> Which I totally would. I'd be the person who's like, oh, have you heard of this? And then just like, oh my god. I'd be the person who's like, yeah, you guys now have to make a... Um... <laughs> I'm fully convinced that bad boy Halo is a uh, warden, considering what he did on one of his streams. Okay, wait, no, that's supposed to be two. Okay, so it goes one, one, two, two, two. And then this goes one, two... Is that done? Is that right? I've done it, I think. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I'm like 100% sure, considering he was like so jazzed about being down there in like the depths. And then he was like, I wish I could go further. I keep feeling better the more and more I keep going. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's like, what if Bad was like a warden who was supposed to protect a uh, treasure, which is Skeppy? Imagine that, and then I just lose my mind. Okay, wait, this looks so good. Wait, wait. And I hate that the netherite block looks so good, too. <sighs> Here, I know all the carpets are gonna stay the same, so I'm gonna... Yeah, oh my god, I lose my mind. I lose my mind over... What if Bad was, like, super attracted to the egg because it sounded like his old skulk that he used to have as a warden? And he's so used to having at least something to input besides himself, but instead it's something very malicious and he doesn't even know. Imagine, imagine, imagine. I'm here to cause problems. To be fair, my character doesn't have any skulk right now, so... Currently, uh, not having the greatest time. But that's mostly just, like... He's so used to it because he's, like, literally never had it since, like, he was a very, very, uh... Since he was, like, very, very young, he doesn't really know what Skulk feels like anymore, so he doesn't know. Okay, that goes there, that goes there, this goes here. This is all spawn-proof. Smile, smile, smiles, smiles. Okay, this goes here. But then this stuff is not spawn proof. Smile. I hate it here. Hate it here. Yeah, I live to torture. Nailed it. Oh, we're so close to finishing this. We just need to finish the other side of the windmill. But oh my gosh, it looks so good. Like, oh my god. I did not expect this turn out so well. It kind of it kind of blends into the copper in the back, but I don't know what I'd do about that instead. Maybe some uh, dark oak fences? To be like kind of supporting it instead? Like dark oak fences? Hmm, <laughs> that's fucked anyway. That's how it is when we go in the cursed channel. We're just like, wow, that's genuinely awful. Anyway, I never know how much to make. I want to make just a stack, so. Oh, here we go. There's a full stack, and then I can use all this. And I don't need the stairs or anything, so let's just put the warped wood back for now. Dry and damp air it, that's how it be. Hate that you can call them that and it makes sense in my brain. Hate it here. Crafting table? Hello, 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 hello. I hate it here. Oh yeah, I do just have an Adernos server called Gay People. That's what I'm gonna use if my, uh, some of my other friends... ...that I've got, like, most of them rarely play Minecraft and aren't really, like, involved in anything, so, like... ...I'd probably end up being, like... True, true. Oh god. 
None of us are safe. Literally none of us are safe. Um, okay, so I have a problem, and I think I can fix it. Because this did not work. Oh yeah, we're on Stardew Valley now. We're just living like this. You can't, can't escape the valley. Because I have a problem here. Oh my god. Do you remember that one post that like goes on for a long time because Tumblr, Tumblr glitched and it's like super super long and cursed and awful? Because it was like a Mother Spore Grian thing? Uh, I may have accidentally reblogged that onto my main instead of my Minecraft account and then just never uh, deleted it because it takes so long to scroll. Okay, how can we make this- <laughs> Yeah, I reblogged it um, to my main and then just decided, well, that's not that's not my problem, and then just left it there. So sometimes when I'm scrolling through my main like blogs posts, I'm just like, well, well, this is a problem. Okay, so we need to have. I'm thinking I want to have dark oaks or dark oak fence, honestly, because otherwise I feel like it's going to just kind of uh, get all muddled in it. I don't have dark oak fence because I'm a fool and decided to come up here like thinking, oh, I'll add this and then not have it in my inventory like some kind of buffoon. Okay, donde esta mi dark oak fence? I did have some. Ha. Huh. Upsy daisy. I'm still just wearing my thorns gear. I don't know why I decided to put it on one day and then just kind of never took it off. So now I just kind of live in Thorns gear. Does this make sense, kind of? It's like a grid, it's like support beams, kind of. Oh my god. A bell? Hmm. I think I could do like just the regular block a bell. Which I might- I could hang from a, like a chain or something, maybe. Other than that, I don't really think I want to add anything. I think it's mostly just for the view, which I will have to do a gosh darn interior at some point because... Currently do not have one. Hate it here. Oh, they do? I don't know anything about windmills. I just build. <laughs> The only thing I know that has bells in them are, like, churches, and then that one dumb place in Philadelphia or whatever the fuck. Yeah, that's fine. Um, oh my god. My life is a series of comedic errors, and I'm doing it on purpose, so... It's a series of con of intentional comedic errors. Oh, cool. I just literally know nothing at all times. What am I doing? I'm like <sighs> spacing out and just like rambling and walking. Um, yeah. Okay, I know the main block is here, so we gotta... Um... can hear me jitter clicking. <laughs> okay, so that should be the middle, right? Should be the middle. I really have to make sure this is the middle because I am not going to build this and then rebuild it. So that's the middle, right? And then it goes... Okay, it goes one... It goes two down from the top thing. So... Yeah, I'm fairly certain that's the middle. Oh, cool. I had no clue. I just assume like it's just for green and then that's it. Okay, wait, we've got the stair is here. So then yeah, it is one, two. Okay, I'm just like making super, super sure. Um, How far out did we do it here? Well, now I'm just, like, losing it. Um, 
Yeah, it's just one block out, okay. And then we can put the middle in. I love netherite sounds. There's, they've got good sounds. Good little stippy step sounds. Oh my god, I'd lose my mind. I'd lose my mind so much. For now, we have to like make do with like trapdoors and trying to make a wooden bucket out of trapdoors. I do have a little dock, but it, I don't think there's a well in this area, actually. Which, I mean, makes sense. It's a swamp, so there's water everywhere. But still. And also we have this, so this kind of makes it seem like, well, we've got enough water. Definitely. It just kind of pours out. One day I'm gonna... Oh yeah, cauldron. Definitely. Cauldrons make sense. I think cauldrons have been used for a long, long time, but only now we've been able to use chains. This is actually super good. Um, okay, wait, let's see. I've got enough of this. Got enough of this, got enough of this. Got more of this, okay. Do I have? Yeah, I've got enough scaffolding too. Um, Let's just put some back here, too, because I'm going to have to step back and do stuff. Oh, yeah, you mentioned the, like, thirst posts about that. It's so weird to me, because in my head, I'm just like, oh, yes, my favorite family-friendly content creators. So I literally, like, don't think of them at all that way, and I'm just like, why? I, I don't understand how you could, but then I do understand how you could, and I'm like, I don't want to understand it anymore. Ooh, spring, spring, spring. He does. He does. The thing is, I hate that I understand it more when it's like last life stuff. Oh, I was sent with- I was sent a Snapchat. Oh, my sibling got a frog. Um. Oh no, wait, oh no. My favorite white boys are live. Oh no, my favorite white boys are live. Tubbo, Sneakstag, and Bill are all alive. After they're done streaming, I could just stream again and finish the windmill though. I can't resist my favorite white, bi white boys. I'm so sorry. I'm ending stream. I can't resist them. I am not immune to white boy on twitch.tv. 